Well, first grade, it feels like it has been a hot minute since I have been here to teach you about phonics. You know, we had some testing and it's off on Monday. And so everything just feels kind of crazy, but we're getting ready to start a new unit. And so I came downstairs this morning to get ready for my day, it's like I always do. And I had left my computer on my desk, which I don't typically do. Usually I take my computer upstairs at the end of the day to finish whatever I need to finish before I go to bed at night. But last night I was kind of already done with what I needed to do. And so I thought, well, I'm just gonna leave it downstairs. So I come downstairs and guess who has been messing with my computer again. Guys, he left us a help wanted notice. Do you know what that means? Like help wanted is when someone wants you to do a job. Okay, like they leave like a help wanted sign up. And so I just want to show you the message he left. You guys ready for this? It says now hiring word builders. And he put a picture of himself with a construction hat and a toolbox. <sighs> Rashid is pretty funny. Aren't you Rashid? You think you're a pretty funny guy? He thinks he's pretty funny. And so I said to him, Rashid, what in the world are you even talking about? You are not a builder. You are a stuffy. And he said, no, no, no. I'm a builder and I need help from my first grade friend to be word builders. And so our goal is going to be in this unit that we're starting today, our new, our new unit, unit four. Our goal is to be going to be to build bigger, longer, stronger words. And so Rashid decided he was going to play a little joke on us and say, Hey, I'm hiring some word builders. So do you think we could take the job? We could be Rashid's word builders this unit. All right. Well, he is awfully cute and he asked really nicely. So we're going to say yes. Now, typically when we teach this unit, we would give you a bunch of cubes and things with letters on them. We're going to have to kind of just make this work with Jamboard and whiteboards and markers. You are going to need a whiteboard and a marker today. So if you could go ahead, pause the video and grab those materials if you need them. Otherwise, I'm going to just keep on going and you can come back when you're ready. All right. So like I, whoa, like I said, our job is going to be to build bigger, longer, stronger words. And I don't know if you've ever seen a construction site before. My little boy, Henry is super into construction. So we seem to notice them everywhere we go. But have you noticed that when uh, a construction worker or a builder goes to work, that they have a toolbox? Thumbs up if you ever have seen one. Right, a toolbox is usually filled with all sorts of things like saws and screwdrivers and hammers and nails and um, tape measures and pencils, all the things that a builder needs to build. Well, we don't need those things to build because we're focusing on building words. So our toolbox has some words and letters and parts in it. And so I want to take a look at these for just a moment. And I'm going to actually take these. I'm actually going to pull them out of our toolbox. And I want you to just take a moment to, hey, <laughs> I just want you to take a moment to study them. So take a look. Now think about building words. That means taking little parts of words and putting them together to make bigger, longer, stronger words. And so the first word that I want to try building today is the word stand. So before I start moving pieces around on my board, I want you to take your marker and your whiteboard. Look at the different pieces and tools and parts that I have to build the word stand. And I want you to write stand on your whiteboard. So go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Okay, so now you should have stand or at least what you think is stand written on your board. Let's work on that together. Stand. Well, I know that when I like to write a word I don't know or build a word I don't know, I need to say it slowly and break it into parts. Luckily for me, I have all these parts right here to help me. So let's see. St and stand. Well, st Stan. Well, that's someone's name, isn't it? Stan. What do I hear at the beginning? St, st. Oh gosh, did anybody notice that ST blend at the beginning? Good. If you don't have that written down, go ahead and do it. Fix the word that you have. All right, what's next? What word part is next? St. An. St. 
and. What part makes and? Yeah. A-N. So when we put that together, we have stan. But we're not building stan, we're building stand. So we need an ending part. What ending part do you think would go with this word? That's right. We're going to have a letter D. And it's going to make the word stan. Take a moment and double check what you wrote down and what I have on the screen. Okay. Now, I want you to pause the video in just a moment. I want you to change stand into standing by building, by adding on another part to make this word even longer and stronger. Go ahead and pause the video and change stand into standing. Excellent. How many of you added an ing ending? Wow, guys, look. This word has one, two, three, four different building parts inside of it. St and ing. And if we crash all those parts together, we have standing. Excellent. So I'm going to put my tools back for a moment and we're going to work on another word. The next word that I want you to build using my building pieces that I have on my toolbox here is the word ant. Little tiny bug that crawls outside. Ant. I'm going to pause the video. I want you to write that down on your whiteboard. All right. Ant. Well, when I say ant, I hear an. I hear that part of a word. I know that part. It's A-N. So I'm going to pull that out of my toolbox and put it right here. Ant. What kind of ending do you hear? Yeah, just a T. Easy peasy, right? I'm actually going to shift this whole word over. This is the word ant. Do you think that this is a big, long, strong word or a little tiny word? For sure, it's a little tiny, and we want to build it into a bigger, longer, stronger word. So I want you to look at the pieces, the building pieces we have left. Can you change ant into chant? Hmm, what would that look like? Ant into chant. I'm going to give you a moment to figure it out. Write it on your whiteboard. So this word is a little bit different. This time we're adding to the beginning of the word. Ch, ant, chant. What piece are we going to build onto it? Yeah, we're going to take the CH block and build that on. Wow, now that word is bigger and longer. Ch, ant, chant. Good. But we want to make this word even bigger and longer and stronger. So here's your challenge. I want you to pause the video in a moment. And I want you to use your whiteboard and change the word chant into chanting chant into chanting. Go ahead and write it on your board. All right, so we're looking at these pieces that we have left. Change chant into chanting. So what piece are we going to build on to chant? So you say the ing ending? Amazing. So now we have ch and ing. Crash those parts together and we have chanting. So we started out with this little teeny tiny word all by itself. And we used it to build a bigger, longer, stronger word by adding more parts. The CH and the ING. Now, let's take a look at our next slide. If we were in class together, each group of you would get a bucket filled with cubes that had these letters on them. We can't really do that. So there are a couple of options here. Option number one for my students at home that are virtual, if you want to make these building blocks out of sticky notes, you can do that. Um, if you want to do that at school, that's okay too. You can also use note cards or um, teachers. I have made this slide editable so you can move things around in it if you need to. So I'll put the link at the bottom of the screen. That's just for the teachers. But you know, we're pretty smart in first grade and we've really adapted this year, we can also just leave this on the screen just like it is. I want you to see how many big, long, strong words that you can build using these different pieces. So think like a builder. Think about how many words you can build that are big and long 
and strong, okay? What I'd like you to do for my students, I want you to make a list and I'm going to give you a place in Seesaw to upload your list so I can see what you made. Um, other first graders who are in responsive learning with teachers at Avery, your teacher will tell you what they want you to do with your list. But I want you to see how many bigger, longer, stronger words you can make using all of these pieces that you're going to build together. Okay? All right. Happy building. We have one more video where we're getting some new snap words today. So I will see you in just a few moments.